year's resolution made and broken. Many of us want to exercise more and eat less. KFDM Sarai Demean offers simple tips from the experts about getting fit. Yeah, absolutely, what I'm gonna have to do right here now, we're gonna step up, bring the knee in. Mike Culebra works as a personal trainer and recently joined the team at Exigen Health and Fitness Club. He believes a New Year's resolution to lose weight must become a lifestyle change, and it starts with nutrition. Cook all your meals in bulk, you know, um, like let's say two, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and store it in the freezer, you know. You'll have, you'll have all your meals already on the go instead of, you know, getting something convenient like McDonald's. Four to six meals a day is what dietitian and nutritionist Carolyn Bell recommends to clients to keep blood sugar regulated. If we eat throughout the day, then your body stays very stable and you have a lot less cravings and you're able to manage your weight. In order to lose weight, you must burn more calories than you consume each day. Consider that when you're exercising and eating. Very, very important to consume a little bit less. We gotta give up that 3,500 to lose one pound of body fat. And on the way down, find a one, one more. Renee Weatherford has focused on diet and exercise for the last 10 years. It's part of our life, it's part of our lifestyle, and I feel so much healthier. She says having a personal trainer has helped her reach her goals. You have to do what's appropriate for you and take it slow and definitely get advice. As he helps his clients, Mike sees a bigger picture. Uh, primary goal is just to, to change lives. We're really, really trying to change lives. You know, a combination of work, education, and dedication can turn a New Year's resolution into a way of life. In Beaumont, Sarai Demean, KFDM 6 News. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in the U.S., underscoring the importance of eating healthy and staying active.